everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. In today's video, we are making 10 slow cooker freezer meals. It's only gonna take less than an hour. I gotta tell you, I was so excited to put this together, mostly because I am struggling right along with you all. Are you ever like stressed out when it comes to dinner time, even the morning of when you're like, I don't know what we're gonna have for dinner. Maybe you have like soccer practice or something or your evening is just really busy and you don't have a lot of time to get dinner on the table. Well, that is what these freezer meals are for. I made a total of 10 slow cooker dump meals. I just took five recipes and I doubled each one of them. It takes less than an hour to put all of these together and in the freezer and there is no pre-cooking required. Just a little bit of chopping from some vegetables. All of these ingredients were from Aldi and I have a free prep plan for you as well and I will talk about that later on in the video. In order to save money, I tried to stick with just one protein and that was chicken. Now at my store, chicken thighs, the boneless chicken thighs were the cheapest. Now if boneless chicken breasts are cheaper at your store, you can get that as well. Um, you can probably also use the bone in chicken. Just remember that once you cook it, you're going to have to spend a little bit of extra time shredding the meat off the bone. The total cost for all of these ingredients was $65.36. Now obviously that price can vary depending on where you live and sale prices of any of these items. That means that each of these meals is about $6.53 each and then that also means that each serving is about $1.63. Most of these meals serve four people. Now $1.63 per serving that is amazing compared to going out to eat with a family of four. Now the five meals we're gonna make today are chicken cacciatore, teriyaki chicken, Hawaiian barbecue chicken sliders, salsa chicken, and a chicken taco soup. I'm gonna go step by step in this process and show you exactly what to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna put some meals in the freezer. Step one is to label all of the gallon size freezer bags. Now you need to know what you're making, what you're putting in each one. Now on each bag, I put the date and the name of the recipe and cooking instructions. And if there's any other instructions you need to put, like if you need to add extra broth or anything, you can put that on the bag as well. But this is the first step because it's much easier to write on the bags when they are completely empty. Step two is to chop the vegetables. Now, as you can see, I'm doing everything done in blocks, like all the same things are done at the same time. And that is going to help me actually save time in the end. So all I have to do for this freezer session is chop up two bell peppers and two onions. And I'm putting them in separate bowls so I can divide them in between the meals that need them. The meat I'm using for this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now you can use chicken breasts too if you want. These just happen to be cheaper at Aldi. Um, chicken thighs are just as good as chicken breasts. They're a little bit higher in fat, which makes it taste better. So I counted and I have 30 of the little thighs here. And with 10 meals, I can easily divide it into three in each bag. So next thing we're gonna do is put the chicken in there, get that over and done with, and then we can add the rest of the ingredients. Step three is to put the chicken in the bags. So we're getting all the sanitary stuff done first, or maybe I should say unsanitary. I'm opening all the bags ahead of time just to make it easier to slide the chicken in. Now, these chicken thighs were actually slightly frozen still. I bought them a few days beforehand. I didn't want them to go bad. So I put them in the freezer and left them in the fridge overnight and they were still partially frozen, but thankfully I was able to get them apart. Now I put three chicken thighs in each bag. So the 30, 10 bags, three pieces of chicken. And I washed my hands thoroughly after doing this before moving on to the next step. Step four is to open up all the cans. Since these are like dump meals, I used a whole bunch of cans and it was just much easier to get it all done at the same time. 
Step five is to assemble the meals. Now these bag holders save my life when it comes to making dump meals and I will have an affiliate link for these down below. First up was the barbecue chicken. So I put in the barbecue sauce, the can of pineapples, and then I sealed the bags tightly. Now you'll have to squeeze out all of the air once you close all the bags. That helps them to stay fresh in the freezer. And I washed my hands after each freezer meal because when I touched the top of the bags, I still had raw chicken on those. Next up is the, t the chicken taco soup. So this is where a whole lot of the cans came in. I started with the diced tomatoes and then I drained the pinto beans, black beans, and corn, and then just put those in separately like that. And I also put in taco seasoning. As you can see, I've got a big bulk taco seasoning, but you can also buy your own taco seasoning packets. Now I did not add the broth to these. When I saw how full the bags were, I decided not to add the broth. So if you do this same thing, just make sure you write on that freezer bag to add two cups of broth before you cook. Next up, I've got the salsa chicken. So in addition to the chicken, I put in one cup of salsa and then part of the onions and again, taco seasoning. I found that three to four tablespoons of seasoning will equal one packet. And next up we have the chicken cacciatore. So I added the rest of the onions and the bell peppers. I also drained those cans of mushrooms before adding them in. And then from there, I added in the diced tomatoes, which I did not drain, and the spaghetti sauce. This one also created a huge bag worth, but I didn't need to add any sort of broth to it, so it was okay. Lastly, we have the teriyaki chicken. So in each bag, I added some minced garlic, some bottled teriyaki sauce, and then some bags of frozen stir fry vegetables. I found that's just the easiest way for me to get in veggies is to put in frozen vegetables. And then I added one can or one cup of chicken broth to each of the bags. After I got those sealed, I was completely done. It took me less than an hour to get all 10 meals accomplished. It was amazing. Now, step six is to freeze all of the meals. Now, you can lay them out flat if you want to, if you want to like stack them all up on top of each other. But I have found that if you kind of squish the bags almost into a cube shape, that will help you to just dump it straight into the slow cooker from frozen. I've learned that the hard way. So I feel like the cube is the much better choice. Step seven, obviously clean your surfaces. I had raw chicken basically everywhere on the counter. So it's a good idea to sanitize all surfaces afterward. And then step eight is to cook those meals when you're ready. Uh, I, like I said, I cook mine from frozen. I used the time that was on the package and it all worked out fine. You can serve it with a different side items like the rice with the teriyaki chicken, you can cook pasta with the chicken cacciatore, whatever your family likes. So what do you think? I mean, this was super, super easy. With no cooking involved and a, with about an hour of work, I was able to get 10 meals in the freezer. Now you might need a couple of extra things like maybe some rice or a couple of different side items, but the main part of dinner is done. And like I said in the beginning, I have a free freezer prep plan for you that you can download below. This plan, this PDF has all of the recipes from here, as well as the grocery list of everything and a step-by-step plan of how to put everything together. And this is all completely free. Follow the link in the description and you'll be able to sign up and get it sent straight to your email. I hope this is super helpful for you and really reduces a lot of the stress that you might feel during dinner time. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever tried any of these kinds of meals or if you have any other favorite slow cooker dump meals you want to share with us. If you want to see more like this, let me know and I will get some more going.
again. As always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when more videos like this come out, as well as my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.